All right, everybody, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to add a second color. If you are somebody who's interested in adding a stripe to your hat, you can do that at any point uh, once you get your rolled brim finished. So um, as we talked about my, my rolled brim, I'm really happy at this point to uh, with this length of hat to add my second color. So all I'm going to do, it's very simple. I'm just going to cut my green. I'm going to make sure I leave six to eight inches of a tail. And then I'm going to just start knitting with this next color. And I um, am a huge Packer fan, so I am making the green and gold uh, striped hat for Packer season. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my knitting and I wanna start knitting with the yellow yarn. So to do that, I have to go back a stitch here. Um, I wanna be at the very beginning of my row. So I've slipped my marker and I've come back to the beginning of my row and I'm going to start knitting with the yellow. So to do that, I'm going to just simply go into the stitch like I'm going to knit it. I'm going to be careful not to knit with my tail. I have my yellow yarn here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap it over my needle, leaving a long enough tail, six to eight inches. So what you can see is I've just literally laid it over my right needle and I have my tails here and I'm going to then just finish knitting that stitch. So bringing the tip needle tip through the stitch and then hopping it off. So now you can see my yellow yarn is secured. The biggest tip I can remind you of at this point is make sure when you start knitting again, you are knitting with the yarn that is attached to your skein and not the tail. Okay, so now that it's attached, you're just going to keep knitting across that row. I am going to probably knit three rows in this different color before I switch over and go back to the green. You're going to see behind your work, you can see that we're, our stitches that have been knit with the new color, and you can see these two tails. And there's going to be a little bit of a gap at this point, but don't worry, we will be able to fix that later on when we weave in all of our ends. So what we'll do later is we'll just tie these off and, and bury the ends in. So for the in the meantime, you just kind of want to tuck them into the inside of your hat and just uh, forget they're there for now. So again, I am going to knit three rows with my yellow before I switch back to my green. And then um, just keep working on the body of the hat. So I just want to talk quickly about, um, I, I'm working on my first stripe and I'm at the very end of my row and what you're gonna see when you get to the end of that row is because we cut the yarn off and we have those two yarn tails inside, you're gonna see this stitch looks kind of elongated, it looks a little wonky um, and that's totally normal. It's because you have those two new yarn tails behind which haven't been tied off yet. So don't worry about that and what you can do is just kind of pull it snug um, but like I said, it's not a big deal because we're gonna be fixing that later when we go in to weave our yarn tails in when we finish our project. So you're just gonna knit that stitch as normal and it's gonna feel kind of weird. It's gonna feel really loose. And again, that's okay. All you have to do is just pull those yarn tails behind snug um, after you knit that stitch. So I've come to the end of my first row um, of my new color. And again, I'm just gonna keep carrying on in the same way. I'm gonna uh, slip my marker. I'm going to work three rows of this stripe. So you can add as many stripes as you want. And again, you're gonna see here, notice that first stitch again also looks kind of elongated and funny, and that's not a big deal. All we're gonna do is just kind of pull the tail behind snug, um, and we'll be able to fix any hole that appears later when we weave in our ends. So again, like I said, you can add as many stripes as you want. You can make the stripes as wide as you want. I'm going to make a three row stripe. Then I'm going to go back to my green and I'll probably add another stripe or two. I'm just kind of totally making it up as I go um, in terms of how many stripes I'm going to want. So feel free to add as many stripes as you like using the same, um, the same strategy that I taught you in this video about how to add a color. And you may want to add a couple colors. And again, it's going to be the same, um, the same technique for all of um, the stripes that you're going to do. So um, 
get creative, work on your stripes, and um, just follow the pattern and work to the designated length in the pattern. And then I, the next videos will show you how to decrease. Happy knitting!